Uh, now we're going to learn about the cerebral sulcal anatomy. So what you're seeing now is the one half of the brain. We have cut the brain through a median sagittal plane. Uh, so this is the medial surface of the brain. This is the superolateral surface of the cerebrum. And here you can see the inferior surface of the cerebrum, which is partly, the posterior part is partly hidden by the cerebellum and part of the brainstem. Okay, so to understand the inferior surface and part of the medial surface, we need to remove the uh, brainstem and the cerebellum like in this specimen. So we'll use these two specimens to uh, describe the sulcal anatomy. So initially I'll go to uh, this specimen. We are focusing only on the uh, cerebral sulcal anatomy. So this is the superolateral surface of the left cerebrum. Uh, as we mentioned about in the left cerebrum, you can imagine it to be something like a boxing glove, okay, uh, in which these will be the fingers and this will be the thumb. You remember that it was divided into four lobes, the frontal, the parietal, the occipital and the temporal. Now we are going to use standard landmarks that will help us to identify each of these lobes. This is the sylvian fissure, the very important sylvian fissure, also called as the lateral sulcus. The sylvian fissure will be dividing the frontal parietal from the temporal. So the frontal parietal and the temporal will be separated by the sylvian fissure. You can actually see the sylvian fissure by opening it up. You can actually separate the fingers from the thumb of that boxing glove. Okay. In the depth, you can see the insula. So this is the insular uh, gyri. You can see just like the salsa and gyri that you see on the surface, you can see insular salsa and gyri. So this is one very important landmark that we will use to divide the lobes. You can see this uh, sylvian fissure rising up uh, into the parietal lobe. Okay. Okay, the next important uh, sulcus that we uh, need to understand is the Rolandic fissure or the central sulcus. The central sulcus you can understand by uh, identifying two parallel gyri that are running downwards. Okay. These two are two parallel gyri that are running obliquely downwards. This, between that you have the central uh, sulcus. This is the central sulcus. So central sulcus characteristically cuts the superior medial border. It also characteristically does not intersect the sylvian fissure. Okay, you have a, a, a gyrus connecting, bridging between these two uh, gyrus. Okay. So this is central sulcus. In front of the central sulcus, this is called the pre-central gyrus. Behind the central sulcus, this is called post-central gyrus. These two are very, very important in the brain, in the cerebrum. So central sulcus and sylvian fissure, you can use to separate the frontal lobe in front, the parietal lobe behind. So central sulcus, you will use to divide the frontal lobe and the parietal lobe. The sylvian fissure, you use to divide the frontoparietal from the temporal. Okay. The next one that we need to understand is the occipital lobe. The occipital lobe is behind. So, but we need to uh, know the boundary of the occipital that separates from the parietal and the temporal. So that can be identified by more uh, subtle features. One is this. This is called the pre-occipital notch. Pre-occipital notch is around four and a half, five centimeter anterior to the occipital pole. Okay. This is the pre-occipital notch. It's a little bit uh, disintegrated here. And the next is the parieto occipital sulcus. That is also not clearly identifying from the superolateral border. The parieto occipital sulcus can be understood more clearly on the medial surface. This is the parieto occipital sulcus. Parieto occipital sulcus uh, as a small part extending into the lateral surface. That is one more feature which we will use to identify the uh, occipital lobe. So, if you draw an imaginary line between the pre-occipital notch and the parieto occipital sulcus, that is the boundary that we will use to separate the temporal parietal from the occipital. So between this imaginary line, behind this imaginary line you have the occipital lobe, in front you have the temporal and the parietal and the sylvian fissure and the central sulcus you will uh, use to separate the F, P and T lobes.